Hi, it's Miss Nelson, and we're going to do a quick word study activity. We're going to be able to read and write most words automatically. And these are sight words, so these are words that you cannot sound out. Make sure you have a piece of paper and something to write with. During word study, I might have you do different activities with the word. For example, if the word is the, I might ask you to clap it out. That would look like this, T-H-E, the. Or I might have you spell it with your eyes closed, T-H-E, the. Or I might ask you to put your finger up and spell it. T-H-E, the. Make sure you're listening to what activity I want you to do with the word. And after, you're going to write the word as many times as you can, and then we're going to use the word in a sentence. Be ready. Frightened. Say it. Frightened. Try it. What do you notice about the word frightened? I notice a few things. The first thing I noticed was this blend, F-R. It makes a fur sound. Something else I noticed was the ending, E-D. Frightened, D, makes that D sound. I also notice the I-G-H-T, which makes it. For example, I know that if I put a T in front of that, it would make tight. Or if I put an M in front of it, it would make might. Or if I put the blend B-R in front of it, it would be bright. Those are just a few things I notice about the word frightened. Now, let's clap it out. For example, F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D, frightened. Your turn. Try. Again, F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D, frightened. Your turn. Put your finger up and try spelling it. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D, frightened. You try. Try it again. Finger up. Spell in the air. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N-E-D. Frightened. You try. Now for the tricky part. Try closing your eyes and spelling it. F-R-I-G-H-T-E-N. E D frighten. Go ahead, try it. Close your eyes. Look at the word. Check it. Did you get it right? Try again. F R I G H T E N E D frighten. Go ahead, close your eyes. Try it. Open your eyes. Check it. Did you get it right? Nice work. The word of the day is frightened. Your word of the day was frightened. We just practiced reading and spelling the word frightened, but now we're going to practice writing it. So make sure you grab a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to give you 45 seconds to write the word frightened as many times as you can. Ready, set, go. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Now I want you to write a sentence underneath. 
Remember, your purpose of this activity is to be able to write most words automatically. Your sentence is, I was frightened last night. I'll repeat it. I was frightened last night. I was frightened last night. Okay, now it's time for you to check your sentence. Remember, our sentence was, I was frightened last night. We always start with capitals at the beginning of our sentence. And don't forget, you always have to have punctuation at the end. That could be a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark. So we have, I was frightened, our word of the day, last night, with a period at the end. Check your work. Fix any mistakes that you might have made. Awesome job. Thank you so much. See you next time in Word Study.